Good morning, children. Today for English literature, English two, we'll do a new chapter. Okay? We'll do a story on a little red hen. I will read the story first, then we will. I will explain it to you. Now, once upon a time, there were four friends who lived on a farm. A hen, a cat, and a duck and a rat. Let us find out more about them. Now, this is a farm. This is a farm, okay, where the animals live. And there were four friends. What were they? There were hen, cat, duck, and a rat. Now, this is Lily. So, the name of the hen is Lily. Okay. She lives in a tiny cottage. Now, can you see the little cottage here? Okay. She lives in a tiny cottage here. So, one day, what happened? Lily. They, they are Lily's friends. Now, see. They are Lily's friends. Now, let's see. I am Mimi. Now, Mimi is a cat. Okay. Now, I am Nibble. Now, who is a Nibble? Nibble is a cat. Rat, sorry. Now, in the last class, we were doing mice. And what do mice do? They nibble things, isn't it? So, the name of the uh, name of this mouse is Nibble. Okay, Nibble. And my name is Quack. Quack is the duck. What do quack ducks do? They quack. Isn't it? So one day Lily finds a grain of wheat in her garden. Now she finds a small grain of wheat in her garden. She has an idea. Now she says, now what to do with this? I'll make use of this small grain. Now Lily goes to her friends. Who will help me plant the seed? She asks him. Who will help, the, him, uh, help Lily to plant the seed? Now look here. The friends are talking. What do her friends say? Now her friend seems to be very very busy. Okay. So they say sorry Lily. We are busy. We cannot help you. The friend seems to be very very busy. And they say sorry Lily. We are so busy that we cannot help you. So Lily plants the seed all by herself. And she goes to the garden and she plants the seed there. It's now time... The seed soon grows yellow and ripe. After she plants, it grows yellow and ripe. Now, it's now time to cut the plants. Lily goes to her friends again. Who will help me cut the wheat? Now, can you see her friends here? Okay. Now, the friends are lazy, I think. I think Lily's friends are very lazy. So, what do they say? We are busy. Please do. Do your own work. The friends does not want to help Lily. They are very, very busy. They don't want to help Lily. So, they say that we are very, very busy. You go and do your own work. Then she goes to the mill to grind the wheat. Then Lily carries the wheat and goes to the mill to grind it. Lily cuts the plants with a beak. Then she goes to the mill to grind it. Now, she has a bag of fine wheat flour. Okay, so she takes the flour and she takes the flour home and makes a loaf of delicious bread. Then she takes the wheat home, then she makes, bakes a bread. Now, now when the bread is ready, her friends can smell the bread. The wonderful smell of the fresh bread draws her friends in. So Lily's friends can smell the bread. Um, this smells so good. Can you see the faces here? Okay, can you see the faces here? They're smelling the bread. Cut us a piece each, will you Lily? Now they want to have the bread. Then they go to Lily and say, will you give us a piece of bread Lily? Did you help me sow the seed? Now Lily is angry now. Lily says, when I wanted help, did you help me to sow the seed, cut the wheat or bake the bread? It is right that you ask for the bread now. So Lily is saying, when I asked your help, you were not there. You were not there to help me. So is it right for you to ask for a piece of bread now? 
we should have helped you now they realized okay they say now we should have helped you now lily's friends are ashamed they are ashamed we are sorry we are sorry lily they say ashamed is feeling bad because you know that you have done something wrong is it it now what they do they do now lily is kind now lily is a very very kind hen so she invites everyone for dinner thank you lily and all of them are having dinner now okay i will read it once more okay once upon a time there were four friends who lived on a farm a hen a cat a duck and a rat let us find out more about them this is lily she has a little she is a little red hen she lives in a tiny cottage they are lily's friends i am nibble nibble is a cat a uh, nibble is a rat sorry i am mini i am my name is quack quack is a duck one day lily's friends lily finds a grain of wheat in her garden she has an idea lily goes to her friends who will help me plant the seed what do her friends say sorry lily we are busy we cannot help you so lily plants the seed all by herself the seed soon grows yellow and ripe it is now time to cut the plant lily goes to her friends again who will help me cut the wheat we are busy please do your own work lily cuts the plant with her beak then she goes to the mill to grind the wheat now she has a bag of fine wheat flour she takes the flour home and bakes a loaf of delicious bread the wonderful smell of fresh bread draws her friends in mm this smells so good cut us a piece each will you lily did you help me sow the seed cut the wheat or bake the bread is it right that you ask for the bread now we should have helped you lily's friends are ashamed we are sorry L lily is kind she invites everyone for dinner thank you lily now cottage you know what a cottage is cottage is a small house okay this is a cottage look here now this is a cottage green green is a small now this is a green this is a green small seed of food plant okay ripe is fully grown is it right this fully grown now lily took the wheat to the mill now what is a mill mill is a place where grain is turned into flour you know what flour is flour is atta or maida okay now grind grind is to crush to make it dust okay fine very small pieces fine means small small pieces delicious everyone knows what delicious is isn't it it is tasty delicious is tasty now if something is cooked we can smell isn't it so draws of friends here makes friends interesting what is happening now see draws of friends means her friends are drawn when you uh, cross the road and if you can smell hot pizzas being baked you can smell isn't it so the friends were drawn okay the friends were drawn by the smell of the fresh baked bread what is ashamed ashamed is feeling shy now you know you've done wrong and you're feeling ashamed you're sorry for what you have done now children i will teach this many of you don't have books isn't it so i will 
I will click this and I will send you in your WhatsApp. Okay? You try to read it and I will give you spellings to learn. Okay? Then we can do the question and answers. Okay? Try to read this at home and you can send me your reading also. Okay? Read with the help of your parents or you can try and read it yourself and you can send me your reading afterwards. Okay? Meantime, I will send, I will give you spellings to learn. Okay? Learn the spellings. Ask your parents to give you spelling test and you can send me your spelling test also. Okay? Marks. Please read this. Thank you children.